Good afternoon. This afternoon I have Julie Gala McClellan with me and she's been presenting at She Business. Welcome Julie. Hi. Uh, Julie, you've just been presenting to the members of She Business and we were looking at entering the boardroom at a director level. Uh, what were the three main points you felt resonated most deeply with our listeners today? I think the point that resonated most, or the one that gained a lot of recognition and nods around the room, was when we were talking about being true to your own values and working with organisations whose aims and objectives you truly support at a deep emotional level. Um, too many people think of boards purely in the economic sense, and they can be a very fulfilling way of making a contribution to worthwhile causes and worthwhile organisations. So I think the values area was probably one. Um, in terms of the other two, the low legal entry requirements, the fact that most of the people who are members of She Business are already qualified legally to be company directors. And the third thing, what are the additional qualifications that you need to help you to become a really good and valuable board member so that you could have a fulfilling career in the boardroom? I think one of your top tips was to do the Australian Directors... What was it called, Julie? The Australian Institute of Company Directors is the benchmark organisation for quality director education in Australia. And I really recommend anyone who's serious about developing a director career to do their company director's course. Um, they do have other courses, such as the Foundations of Directorship course, um, and they do have events. So if you're only interested in a particular aspect, you can go to a very short, focused session on exactly the one thing that you are interested in. So you don't need to commit to a whole course. But I do find that to be useful at senior levels in a corporation, you do need to be a lifelong learner. Sure. Julie, you've also written a book, book on this topic. I've actually written four books. Um, but yes, I've written a, a series of books called Dilemmas, Dilemmas, which are real life case studies of things that have happened to directors whom I know. Um, and the great fun about the books, and one of the things that for me is an absolute joy in writing them, is I invite other people who are experts to say what they would do under those circumstances and what they would advise. Because everybody's different and everybody will respond to the circumstances in a different way. And um, directorship is all about developing and applying your judgment. So having a range of options and understanding just where the hard edges of the law stop and where the areas that are open for personal creativity start um, just makes it a much more enriching and fulfilling experience. I came away, and this might, might sound strange, but I walked away from today knowing that I'm not wanting to become a director on a board. Having said that, I love the sound of your book, and I think that uh, <laughs> that might just be a fun read anyway. Julie, it was your first time at She Business. Um, what were your thoughts of the structure, the people you've met, anything that comes to mind? I really enjoyed meeting the people who were here. Um, it was a room full of real go-ahead, go-getting, kick-ass women. Um, am I allowed to say kick-ass? You can say business? that, Julie. Uh, but the, um, the firepower in the room was really great fun. I, I had the occasional little daunting moment of, oh my gosh, how does she manage those shoes? I couldn't do anything quite so elevated. Um, and um, it was just really good fun. It's one of the things I've noticed is that when women get together, you have a great conversation. It is very different to the conversation that men appear to be having when they are in an all-male group and I come and join them, or the conversation that you have in a mixed group. I don't know that it's better or worse, but it is different and it is valuable. And I just had an absolute ball here today. Thanks, Julie. And I think you make a really valuable uh, comment at the end there. It's not better or worse, it's just different and it should be valued as such. Julie Garland McClellan, thank you so much for giving your time so generously today to She Business. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. It's been fun.